With cancellations across the board, Ellen Percival feared the worst. We knew it was going to be dicey. Her fears were realized on April 27th when Calgary was hit with a sudden and severe storm. Air Canada canceled the family's flight and rebooked it for the next morning. And then this. And the captain came over the air and said, we're very sorry, there's been a maintenance issue. After an hour delay, they took off, but missed a connecting flight. Not wanting to miss their cruise, they rented a car to get from L.A. to San Diego. They barely made it to the ship. Their luggage didn't make it at all. Most of our, our trip, unfortunately, was spent either sitting at piers or begging people to please just find our luggage. They hit up a clothing store at port and made the most of it. At one point, I just said, I don't even want my luggage anymore. We're happy in Old Navy. We're, we're rocking the look. Could you please just find our luggage and send it home? That's where the luggage eventually landed, with some damage. Air Canada compensated them for the luggage and clothing, but when Percival asked them to cover her other costs, she was told because a storm affected the flights, there was nothing they could do. Help us out here a little. We're not asking for tens of thousands of dollars. I'm asking for 300 and something for the rental car. Um, maybe some points back because we didn't get those flights. The seat selections, we weren't on the plane. Passenger rights experts say the weather explanation flies, but the rest? The maintenance issue, that's something entirely within their eyes control. They were supposed to do an operation, which they failed to do. That it was the reason that the flight was delayed, and therefore the airline is on the hook for all expenses, all damages. Global News reached out to Air Canada. At first, we were told the file was being reviewed. A day later, Percival got an email saying the airline will pay her for the rental car. It's also looking into the other costs. I find it very troubling that in this day and age, a passenger has to travel with a journalist on their left and a lawyer on their right to actually be treated fairly. The Percivals didn't let it ruin their trip. They're just glad Air Canada stepped up. I'm just looking for, wow, that must have really sucked for you. Tomasio Da Silva, Global News.